I like boys. I like, like men. Statistics show that one in every one people will eventually die. But it's shit when they're 56. And your dad. And the only one who knew the Sky Movies pin. And this is my mum, Peggy. She's like a cross between Gwen from Gavin and Stacey and Pam from Gavin and Stacey, which means she's the sort of woman who jumps when the doorbell rings. Who the f is that? And that first year without Dad was weird. Our neighbours showed that they cared by discreetly dumping lasagnas on the doorstep like unwanted babies. Tracy Brooks from Number 18 was my favourite, but Mum reckons she bought it from Costco. Ah, oh, the dish. I have plenty more. We took in 26 in total. Then it took me 57 days to even have a wank, mainly because everyone kept saying things like... It'll always be watching over you. Keeping an eye out. Poor bloke didn't even know I was a gay, and now he could see me bash him out over lookalikes about Cantona. Mum, soon worried we'd comfort ate too much, sat on our asses watching telly, so... We went a bit mad in the January sales. You all right? Ever since we'd found out Dad was ill, me and Peggy had stuck together like Philip Schofield and Holly Willoughby. But deep down, we were sad, like Eamon and Ruth. So we'd take it in turns to look after each other. I'd read feminist literature on what it's like to become an early widow, and she'd read me the TV guide any time I had a panic attack. 8.30pm. Nicole Kidman has no memory of the last decades, leaving husband Colin Firth to explain daily who he is. To the... Surreptitious... Surre... Surreptitious. Surreptitious gift of a video camera helps piece together her past. Oh, that's nice. No one in our family even had GCSEs, let alone A-levels. So when I got three A's and into the local uni on a journalism scholarship, it was a big win for the team. Oh, I knew you'd do it. <laughs> and then this day came. And I just couldn't get out of bed for ages. To cheer us up, Mum got me a fish named after my favourite journalist. But even that wasn't enough. Mum rang uni, who let me defer a year, and so I just had to wait. I've realised that over the past few months, I don't really like Corinne. That's fine. And I don't like many people like Corinne. Oh, you're not a racist, are you? No, I... I like boys. I like, like, men. And I ain't said anything... ..cos... I'm worried I'll, I'll let down Dad. I don't want to let down Dad. And I don't want to let down you. Hey, does your mum think you're racist? No. I told her and she left. All right. Do you remember these, year three at school? You'd have to decorate and fill up an old shoebox for the poor Romanian kids. Bung in warm gloves, a tube of Aquafresh and an S Club 7 CD from Walworths. Yeah. Well, we never gave this one away. Because you were about six and you point blank refused to drop it in because you said you wanted to keep one for yourself. Jack, keeping the orphans from Rachel Stevens, that's selfish. Anyway, do you remember Saturday nights as a kid, you'd watch The X Factor and then straight after on ITV2, there'd be The Extra Factor. Yeah? Yeah. Well, at the very beginning, all the X Factor judges, they'd write down their predictions about who they thought would win. And then a few weeks later, the final, Connie Huck would open the envelopes and see you guessed correctly. Yeah, 2010, I was firmly Team Wagner. Um, we love Gamu, don't we? Always. Anyway, one Saturday night, your dad had hit the wacky backy, and I'd had a couple of quantros, and so, um, we decided to make our own predictions. But about you... Huh? Yeah, we both wrote down what we thought he was going to be like when he was older, and we put them in envelopes, and I kept them in this box for you to open on your 21st as a silly present. Do you want to open it? I wrote, it'll be a solicitor living in a new build by the high street. <laughs> as if I'd ever be able to afford one of those. <laughs> what did Dad put? 
You will probably be a dancer, and maybe with a boyfriend up in London. Yeah, he'd always said to me, your dad, he said he could be gay, you know. Mainly because you were so good at remembering the Spice Girls choreography. <laughs> He's still good at that. <laughs> I promise you, Jack, he may not be here to say it, but me and your dad, we don't care. All I ever wanted was you, and for you to be happy. You know, whether you've got kids, an husband, or just a fish called Alison. As long as you're happy and healthy, and not a nonce, that's what matters. <laughs>